Hey guys, Ghost Nimble here, coach of your MPA Hampshire Haunters Ed. This week we have our week 5 match against the Choice Specs, coach of the Orlando Match Carps. And looking at his team when we were building it, I noticed it was weak. We noticed it, we were, my, me and my coaching staff, we noticed it was weak to a lot of ice. So we came up with a nice little trick ploy, which is in the team build video. Make sure you check that out to find out what I was originally planning to do. And what actually happened is you're about to see. So let's just play and roll with it. Now, my first priority that I was supposed to do was set up rocks to prepare for the Choice Specs' Dragonite coming in. Fortunately, I had the wrong team gen, which is all on me. This was my fault. But I ran with the team I had, trying to make it work, and I want to say it was a good match. As you see, he's leading with Petrie, the Aerodactyl, I approve the name, Lamb for time reference to the Pterodactyl from that TV, TV movie. Well, not TV movie, TV, they had a TV show and a movie and such. Anyway, it sets up rocks. This is ideally where I would have wanted to set mine up, but because I didn't actually have a stealth rocker on from the right pace, from the right team we were supposed to use, that didn't happen. So I was like, okay, I'm going to set up a reflect in case of an iron head. Probably not going to do it anyway, but I'm going to try it my life anyway and set up screens. I didn't see the toxic coming, and then it turns out it's more of a support aerodactyl. I think it had torn, and the only offensive we had it was earthquake. So now we're poisoned. I do not have aromatherapy on this one, so my bad again. Um, as you see, the aroma protects us from the taunt. He wished that we go ahead and wish to try and feel, think, okay, I'm saving. What can I do to Aerodactyl without threatening my Morgan Manatee combo, which I tried doing later on, which doesn't really come to fruition. Um, but here comes the slow bro. The Mega Slowbro, I figured that once I can buff this, once I take out Mega Slowbro, a lot of my worries are taken care of. I can then try and clean up with either Durant, a combination of Durant and Manaphy, or Manaphy and Durant. Either way around, do one put it that way. But in that equation, Emolg is involved, and we'll get to that later on. But, instead, I am going to switch to the Volcano. I was predicting a Skull, just trying to see what the Mega Slowbro is going to do. I didn't prepare for it to set up like that. Well, like it's about to. Spoilers, I know. I, know. I didn't like think ahead, like, oh wait, it could actually, you could actually try and set up now. But I was more prepared that he was going to try and just scold us. Think, okay, I talked to it. Let's try and get some easy damage off to try and make it easy to kill later on. To make it easy for that toxic to kill, basically. So I predicted the I predict, predicted the scold switching into the volcano. Thing. Okay, it's not okay. No scold, so no reveal on any of those moves yet. So I was okay, I'll, I'm gonna have a steam rupture. I'm gonna try and burn it, because if I can burn it, that's gonna be a little bit of chip damage every turn. And yes, he's already revealed slack off, but at the same time, that burn's gonna come in handy later on. And it's gonna play a vital part in how I'm gonna try and take down Mega Slowbro. So I'm thinking, okay, I best I'm gonna have to switch back to um Dummy Aroma Matisse. And just Pair of wish or something. Scout for any psychic moves that come my way, which obviously he brought in that psychic attack just there. So, so far, that prediction was right on my part, but at the same time, I also know that there's a chance he's either going to be slacking off this turn or next turn. So, I straight up hit the Moonbeam. I believe it, I hit the Moonbeam anyway. And you see, he sets up again. I think he's plus two at this point. Oh no, I wish again so I get some HP back, which is okay. I know we're toxic. Toxic's gonna slowly whittle down that. It's gonna easily whittle down our HP, but it's okay. I, if I can wish long enough to keep a remedies alive, I can get some moonbeams off and I can lower that special attack. There goes our reflect. I think this turn I hit the moon blast, predicting that slack of coming. Because Slowbro and I couldn't go back to Volcanion yet because I felt that they just walled each other. There's nothing that really gives each other an advantage just yet. Maybe if I ran Grassanium Z with Soda Beam on it, I could have just popped it there and then and boom doomed it into hell. But I was like, no, I will save the Z Crystal for something else later on. That's a bit more dirty. And I like the thought of. There goes our light screen, so I believe this turn I just reset the screen because I'm pretty sure he wasn't gonna attack this turn. Or I'm slowly at this point, I'm thinking I need to try and sack something else so I can safety get into Durant. Because before that slack off that you just did, Durant easily killed that thing with X's. So it's a case of, okay, think. Um, 
Oh no, wait, that's covered up in a few turns. The burn's still going off. I'm just hitting, still hitting the Moonblast and trying to get that damage off. But coming up at some point, I realize, okay, Remedies isn't really doing much for me anymore. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to sack it off completely. I'm going to just let Aromatis die. I'm going to just do the wish for the hell of it. Um, not really expecting it to pass on to anything. Not really expecting to get HP because I presume the Toxic was going to kill. And that hurt us. That hurt us by having that Toxic, like, that wish, that the Toxic not killing us there. The Nashi on our minds, and then I believe we just Moonblast, to which we get our wish, and then the Toxic goes off again. This is where I was expecting the Toxic to just straight up just kill us. Or at least I was expecting the Psychic just to kill us, because it's in death range. You didn't have to really worry about from it. And this was, okay, the Toxic can straight up kill us. No, it lives! Conveniently, it being a pain in the ass is it lives. I did not need this to live right now. I needed it to die for a safe switch into Doran, to which he now slags off, to which I know that Doran cannot take out Mega Slowbro with Exilver. I need to do as much chip now as I can with Aromatis to try and just get that Slowbro low enough for Doran to come in and just kill it with Exilver. If our Aromatis finally dies to poison, so that kill goes to Aerodactyl, because it was an Aerodactyl's Toxic. So I bring Volcanium back and thinking, okay, I need to try and get some nice chip damage off. Just get low enough on that Exodus. So I stripped, go for the Stone Edge. Because it's effective, it does a decent chunk. I know it's probably going to die, it was going to die to Psychic anyway, because it's slow bros plus three right now. But I'm thinking, okay, right, now that, now I've had enough chip, I think it's just about enough for Exodus coming, but I want to try and push it a little more. So I'm going to chuck in my dead weight, my anchor, that's going to help us out here. With its power whip, I'm gonna bop it with power whip. Next turn, as you can see, it kicks off because we're faster, and there it is. There is your power whip, and it turns out to actually kill. I'm sort of thinking, I'd have to sack off Volcanion there. I could have just brought in dummies and just power whipped it. But at the time, I clearly wasn't thinking. And now I'm thinking, okay, what lives this incoming foul play slash knockoff so because I didn't know which one move was coming so I switched into my Amalga which we've named shout out to Elliot which is shout out to Galactic Elliot who we face like much later on in this league um and it's like it lived it and then this turn we like we can take one we can take one well and we're like okay we I'm thinking okay I need to start getting that get that rain dance up that Z rain dance from Amalga because original plan was I was going to do it it was going to get a speed boost from the rain. I was going to ban pass then into Manaphy for Manaphy to start sweeping. Sadly, I had no choice. I had to do it this turn because Emolga just wasn't living because Mandibus breaks the sub. With Foul Play or not. Either one would have broken it. So I get the Z Rain Dance up. I lose my speed boost that I wanted. The light screen's now gone. And I'm saying, okay, I just need to get Manaphy out. I need Manaphy to take advantage and just get something up. Get that, get those tail glows off if I have to. Drop a sub, get behind that shield, and use that to set up the tail glows, because knockoff is not going to be taking out the um, sub, which we easily figure out, which I easily count and found out. And now I'm thinking, now is the perfect time for me just to get some nice little tail glow boosts up, get that special attack up, get enough into that special attack where I can just come in now and clean. Problem is, parts of his team still heavily outspeed Manaphy, such as Sceptile. And there goes the first sub, so it's like, okay. This turn I'm going to reset the sub. And then I'm going to have to Ice Beam. I'm going to have to Ice Beam after the sub. Because the knockoff doesn't kill, give me a free, like a free hide behind. Because I know he's trying to knock off my leftovers to prevent the recovery so subs too can keep happening. So now I bop it with the Ice Beam, it kills, as predicted, and now I'm predicting for a Sceptile to come in that is carrying a light, a Choice Scarf. But obviously he's going to bring in um, 
Aerodactyl first. He wants to get rid of our sub for that Sceptile, so I just straight up got no, nothing to really worry about now. I don't mind breaking this up. I can hit it straight up with the Earth. Um, with um, Surf on my Mana Fee. Obviously, we lose our sub. It's fine. I can try. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to take out. I know it's going to take out um, Aerodactyl unless it's Sash, and to my surprise, it's a Sash to Aerodactyl. And I'm like, geez, how much am I going to see this 1 HP stuff this time in this duel? In this duel? In this match. <laughs> because um, our Remedy's not dying when it did to Toxic. It really did hurt me. It didn't give me a, the, lead, the free switch that I needed. So, it's so, like, okay, I'm going to just surf again. Kill out the Aerodactyl. We live the Earthquake nice and easy breezy. And in comes that Sceptile. And I predicted this Sceptile to be Choice. No, Choice Scarf, not Choice Specs. That's our opponent. And I'm thinking, okay, Giga Drain, where's Leaf Storm? I was hoping for a Leaf Storm miss, so I can then just hit it with a nice beam and kill it, then, like, there's a strong chance I could have won, I could win this. And I'm thinking, okay. I'm gonna have to trap the Sceptile just to kill it. So I'm gonna hit. Then he reveals Hidden Power. I don't know if it was Fire or Ice, but it was one of the two. They do, the, they do the same. So I go ahead and anchor shot and trap it in, and then I also notice that it's hit, taking life orb damage while it's at it, which is quite handy for us, because if I play this right, we might be able to live. We, we have a very low chance to win off, to survive this hidden power. Which we don't. So I in turn lit, down we go, it die the Sceptile dies to its own life orb anyway, so Sceptile gets a suicide kill. And all that's left for him to do is bring out Gardevoir and Dragon. That's all that's left. All we got is Dorian. But Dorian can take um, take out Gardevoir very, very easily. All I gotta do is X. X is it, and D Gardevoir is gone. All I gotta do is there's a chance that I could take out the Dragonite with um, Dorian. All I gotta do is just keep it in those rock sides and hope and pray I don't miss. But Gardevoir lives. And now I'm like, okay, now I just need this Durant to hit the X as a next turn, and there's still a very slim chance to win, but Hustle kicks in, and I miss. To which I just eat another Moon Blast, and there goes Durant, and unfortunately, there goes the game to Choice Specs. Good game, Choice Specs. I wish I could have given you a better match. It was very clutch at the end there. Very disappointed myself for not actually checking teams over. So I should be doing, you know, being the coach and all that. I should be the one checking teams. But I'm not going to rage about that because it would just lead me to La La Land and I'll go nuts with it. I'll go nuts and stuff. But yes, that was your week five of the MPA. Now, let me just check our next week. We've had our bye. Next week, we are taking on... Don't forget, guys, you can subscribe to both the Choice Specs now by clicking that subscribe button down below, and I will leave the link to the Choice Specs' Twitch YouTube channel down below as well. Well, I just get up our opponent for next week, which is Papa C and the New York Links. Which, this is going to be an exciting one, because last time we went, he... didn't predict... He forgot that the Heracross I had last season didn't have guts. He also um, didn't predict me to switch up the nature on my Charizard last season. But this season is all different. I know that Papa C knows how well Manaphy can do. Now, let me just take a quick look at his team. Because I know he's had a lot of trades. He's had a fair number of trades this season. So, this season he's got... Oh, these really need to be updated. That's not helpful. According uh, to this is Pinsir, Blaziken, Blastoise, Zap, though. Okay, I'll slow it down a bit. Pinsir, Blaziken, Blastoise, Zapdos, Mega Alakazam, Livani, Gligar, Chloritza, Hiram, Klefki, Jirachi. Popsy has quite a team there. It's quite a team. But I'm going to find a way to take it down. Much like we did last season, I'm hoping to win this one. And get our team its second win of the MPA.
because we're one in three now. Our differential is minus twelve. Because you know, Miss Gen Week Two. Ooh, yeah, Miss Gen Week Two. Miss plays for me Week One. And I'm really taking it to myself hard. I'm like, I'm not blaming my coaching staff or anyone. I'm blaming myself. Because I'm the one that's getting, giving the teams and not thinking to check them over. So hopefully next week we can do it without me like checking shit and not messing up. But anyway, I'll catch you guys. Just like make sure to check out um, the Choice Specs channel. Link will be down below in the description. And keep following that NPA guys. Catch you later.